The main thing I try to stress is that you know the whole point of what we're trying to do is give them you know um, socialization, but in a structured environment instead of the free for all of the doggy daycare or you know um, the, the dog park kind of situation where there's different people giving different you know reinforcements and influences. Um, you know, it's one walker to the dogs. Um, you know, because the staff, myself, and the other walkers are all um, using the same reinforcement, communicating in the same way. All the dogs get treated democratically, so there's no hierarchy of, you know, one dog gets certain reinforcements and the other one gets different. So generally everybody gets along pretty well. We don't have a lot of challenges that a lot of owners will have. The point is we just want to get them out, get them mentally stimulated, get them physically exercised. You know, obviously it depends on the age of the dog. Usually anything under three or four years of age should be getting at least an hour of total exercise a day. Well, I mean, I've had dogs my whole life, ever since I was a kid. I grew up in rural Maryland. Um, and it was just one of those things where I've always been around dogs, I've, I've always enjoyed them. Um, and, you know, the more I kind of looked into them and their behaviors and then owned them myself, um, you know, just started making sense in terms of, you know, uh, how to relate to them a little better um, instead of trying to treat them like a baby and think of them like a person, you know, which to me is a little disingenuous. I guess you would say anthropomorphizing them, you know, if you think of them only in human terms, um, you're, you're gonna only get so far because you know they are an animal and they do think of things in a different kind of way. I mean we, we probably walk anywhere from 30 to 60 dogs a day and we do that every day of the year. Uh, it's one day at a time. One thing I tell people all the time is just don't get into that routine where you do the same walk all the time mm -hmm. and you go to that same tree to go to the bathroom and you do the same experience every day. Mm -hmm. it, your dog's gonna get bored. Like the, the saddest thing that I think I see is when you see people come out of a building and they go to that first tree and they turn around and they go back in. And that's, you know, all that dog knows is that, that tree. That's all we're going to do. And all they want to do is hit that tree and then go back in the house and jump on the couch, you know. And it's like, and it's like there's miles of city streets to be walked and all kinds of adventures to take and, you know, there's so much out there for them to do and they just have to be willing to try it, you know.